Okay, today we're going to go over how to create a sticky sidebar uh, when you scroll, thanks to Figma's new auto or new update with uh, sticky positioning. So we've already got our header that stays in place when you scroll. Uh, you can check out that tutorial. And now I've got this navigation bar that when you scroll up, we're going to have it stick to the side and then scroll back down. Pretty good stuff. Let's get into it. Okay, so first things first, I've got my page here, I've got it all set up. Um, I have my items already aligned inside the auto layout so that there's room for my sidebar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my sidebar and I'm going to drag it into my auto layout. You can see it here collapse all these sections and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to absolute position I'm going to do that and now since I want it to be in line with these items we'll just move it down and I'll line it up perfect so there we go pretty easy stuff it's on the bottom here, so that's great. Uh, I'm gonna go over to prototype, position, sticky. All right, so now when I hit play, there it is. Oh, it sticks to the top, but it's covering our, our menu here. Um, so that's not something I want. So to fix that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down, we'll select it, we'll turn off sticky for now, and we're actually going to, I'm just going to hit shift A to wrap it in an auto layout, and now I know that my bar here is 146, so I'm going to add top padding of 146, I think maybe like 40 would do it, plus 40. All right, so now with this, I'll use this to line myself back up. And now this should give us our buffering from the top down. So let's see if that worked. So now it didn't work because I didn't set it to scroll. So what I need to do is I actually need to pick my frame that I just did and do sticky. All right, so now when I scroll, it docks with enough space that it doesn't cover our menu. That's pretty much it. You can take this a little bit further if you want, say like, unfortunately Figma doesn't let you bump it up after, but you could cover it. So if you don't want it to come on the uh, over top of our on sale uh, section, what you can do is you can actually take your on sale, which I think is number three here, Drag it below, we'll call this our sidebar frame. And then you actually want to put your menu frame on top of that so that your menu still, go, or your um, navigation still goes over top. So this will be the topmost, then number three, then our sidebar. And what that does is that lets it cover this up. So we can't bump it up, which is too bad that you can't end the sticky scroll, but we can cover it up and still have our navigation on top. Um, so until Figma f fixes the ability to end your sticky on scroll on a specific spot, uh, which I'm unsure what t how long that'll take, um, you can use the panel below it to cover it up and move on with the rest of your website. So there you have it, a sticky sidebar on scroll. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave your comments, and uh, thanks for watching.